if you are going to, of course, you're married na. Paano kung magkakarenewal of vows kayo? So, you're going to marry Isa again. Who will take your wedding photos? <laughs> Hi guys, it's Anne Tristine and welcome to my channel. For my first vlog, I'm going to do an adulting video with a very special guest. My friend Paolo Feliciano, say hi. Hello, guys. <laughs> okay, for uh, people na hindi ka pa kilala, please introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Paolo Feliciano. I'm a photographer in Pampanga, Philippines. Uh, I shoot furniture, weddings, and interiors. Basically, that's it. And I also do some vlogging on the side. And every morning, I shoot <laughs> my uh, whatever I eat for breakfast, and I. Post it on my micro vlog called Mornings with Pao. Sino ang ano? Saan galing yung Mornings with Pao? Ah, uh, gal <laughs> galing sa kanya. <laughs> hindi talaga ng credit uh, eh. Na okay, so let's start. So, adulting. I'm actually old and as I'm still quite. Um, Nalilito ko ano yung gusto ko gawin sa buhay. So in this series of adulting video, hopefully me and also you guys could learn a thing or two about my guests. So first question, Pao, about career, of course. When you were a kid, okay. kung naalala mo pa, <laughs> when you were a kid, um, ano sa good mo dun sa question na what do you want to be when you grow up? Simply lang because my dad was a furniture maker and he was an entrepreneur, so. From the start, I wanted to be like him, so I wanted to be like a, a furniture maker, maker also, and an entre entrepreneur. So basically, that was it. so that was my direction in college and after in my postgraduate school. Okay, so how and when did your photography journey started? Because you said na at first it's all about furniture. And business. Uh, ano eh, yan. Pero I had a partner who was also a photographer and I handled the business uh, side and unfortunately we didn't um, quite work out so we split we also split our clients so the clients that um, were assigned to me needed a photographer and so I and I started photography basically that was it so I didn't go sa amateur route sa hobby route Mm -hmm. I'm also a professional uh, paid But the, the first things that you take photos, not really wedding, right? Uh, furniture. furniture. Furniture, okay. So what about your uh, wedding photography journey? Uh, wed wedding, naman. one day I saw my wedding photographer, Terry Uy. Uh, I saw him on Hidalgo Street. If you're familiar with Hidalgo Street, it's a street for cameras and uh, camera equipment and so I saw him and I asked him if he needed uh, like a backup photographer so he needed one and so yeah you know and yeah for the next for his next wedding so yeah start now okay. yes yeah. so it adds to that because I've written an article about him na in Pampanga Pep magazine where we both work mm -hmm. uh, him taking photos of course and me writing articles uh, yung kinikwento niya na he, parang nakasalubong niya yung wedding photographer niya. That was year 2008. Mm -hmm. So last year, yung milestone niya, 10th year doing 10th wedding year. photography. Uh, okay. August 8, 2008. So 888. Oh, wow. <laughs> 888. Parang swear to you. No, parang ganun siya. At one, at what point? Kasi 10 years, no? That's a pretty long time. At one point, did you realize na? Successful ka na or magaling ka na. Okay. Yung nasabi mo na sa sarili uh, mo, okay, magaling ako. Ang magsasabi na magaling ka, hindi ikaw yung ibang tao. Like your clients or hmm. web, your peers or whoever. And it doesn't really matter talaga for me. As long as me, as long as I serve my clients well, na happy sila sa pictures, yun, masaya na rin ako. And, um, yun lang. Ganun lang naman. Hmm. Kasi, I, I, ayoko rin na masyadong ano na Nasabi na, ah, yun, basta. Okay, <laughs> so... Ang magsabi sila. Hindi ang magsasabi ka, sila. Man. You've recently started vlogging. Bakit? Babang pwede, pero basically, 
napapanaginipan ko siya. As in, uh, parang yung sa mornings with Pao. Ibang kwento okay. yan. Napapanaginipan ko. Like, yung per, kung paano ko siya gagawin, kung anong gagamitin ko, ganyan. Napapanaginipan ko siya. Siguro dahil sa kakanood din ng vlogs sa YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like, si na Casey Neistat, ganyan, Peter mm -hmm. Magenon. So, parang na-inspire din ako siguro. And, I wanted the, like a, a creative outlet mm -hmm. uh, other than photography. So, ayun, nag-start lang ako basta. Ay, hindi, hindi ko maalala. Uh, when, when did you start vlogging again? Just a few months ago, diba? Uh, December last year. December, December last, last year. year. So, one year na. Okay. But hindi pa masyadong ganun kadami yung nanonood. Yung nanonood mm -hmm. lang siguro yung mga friends ko ganun yung <laughs> Uh, wow. uh, ako pinapanood ko mga 100 iba, times iba. Um, for, uh, for people to have an idea, ano uh, yung mga makikita nila sa YouTube channel? Makikita nila sa channel ko, uh, tips for weddings, tips for yeah, like photography tips, paano kumuha ng magandang photos, ganyan, or basta behind the scenes, ano, about business, ganyan. Hashtag how to be Paolo oh, pero, uh, um Wala man talaga masyado kasi hindi ko pa talaga alam yung direction but mm -hmm. basically I just want to ano, share my process mm -hmm. share whatever I do ganun lang okay so bago natin i-wrap up yung career topic natin because uh, I'm a freelancer okay. and there are so many freelancers nowadays no kasi I think millennials are generation na side uh, hustlers mm -hmm. and uh, freelancers so, ano yung masasuggest mo sa mga freelancers? How would they start and how would they sustain it? Uh, dapat ano, ine-enjoy mo yung ginagawa mo. Kasi kung hindi mo ine-enjoy, what's the point of doing it? I'm sure in the long run, somebody will find you and somebody will connect with you. Just be patient and yeah, enjoy what you're doing. Okay, so next topic is about striking a balance between family life and career. Uh, when you started your uh, wedding photography journey, you're married already, right? Yes. So how do you strike a balance between your career and family life, especially your work is very demanding sa time, lalo na yung holidays, yung weekends. So how? You have to be lucky to have an understanding partner, number one. Yeah. Number two, when you're spending time with your family, make sure you spend time with your family. Na you're not on your phone, or you're not, in, not doing something else. So if you're spending time with them, spend time with them. So Number being three, present. Being present. Number three, uh, stick with the schedule. Like, if you're scheduled to be on a family trip um, this day, make sure you do that. Na hindi ka tatanggap ng work. So, about family again. Um, if you are going to, of course, you're married na. Paano kung magkaka-renewal of vows kayo? So, you're going to marry Isa again. Who will take your wedding photos? <laughs> Kasi yeah. hindi ka naman pala mag-selfie pa, o, di ba? Oh, okay. <laughs> Yun yung beauty ng, ano, eh, ng wedding industry namin. Mm -hmm. uh, madaming pwedeng mag maggagawa. Like, sabihan mo lang sila and they'll be there. Yun, mm -hmm. uh, medyo tight. So you don't want to name names? Kahit sino, kahit sino. Dahil pwede dyan. Okay, so ayaw niya mag-name names. Gusto ko lahat sila eh. Camera, mga 20 camera. Ako kasi gusto ko si Paolo Felixano eh. Oh, Pag hindi si Paolo, hindi ako magpapakasal. Yeah. Tandaan niyo yan. Yeah. <laughs> ano? Ano yan? <laughs> okay, so moving Stay on. <laughs> okay, moving on. So next episode na agad. Oh, next. Our next topic is about finances. Okay. Kasi we're all struggling uh, with finances one way or another. So my first question is, how do you handle clients who don't call you? Because Guys, mahal po si pa Paolo Hindi. Pelisano. Hindi mahal, pero ano, <laughs> value for your money. Yung mga clients, they already know my price. So, when they contact me or they um, ask about my service, al alam na nila na uh, they pay a certain amount. Kaya yun, wala masyadong nag... Ano, Tama masyadong. ka. Ako kasi tatlong taon so, lahat ang pinag-iipunan. Hindi, <laughs> kailangan mo kasi sabi... Kailangan mo kasi establish Yung your, yourself as... As a brand. But hypothetically, mm. if someone lowballs you, how are you gonna handle it? For other freelancers, like how? as I experience like how? Um, hindi ka nila babayaran dun sa expected amount. Like, um, humihingi sila ng tawad and they're uh, very demanding. Uh, 
Ah, uh, may nagsabi sa akin dati na um, 'wag mong ibibigay ng mababa. Mas good, mas actually si Borges ng sabi. Hi uh, Borges. Hi Borges. <laughs> sabi niya na imbis na ibigay mo ng mababa, bigay mo na lang libre. Parang ganoon si sabi niya. Um, I don't necessarily agree with that, pero pede. I mm-hmm. mean, you know, parang mas okay na na libre na lang. Parang okay. collab dala or something uh-huh. na still kailan meron pa ring something in return so speaking bakit, of uh, borch <laughs> say yung next say <laughs> next adulting with borch menes as watch out so next is um tips naman in investing in photography or videography gears of course if you're a freelancer or if you're a hobbyist you have to know where to put your money mm-hmm. diba so anong tips mo sa pag-invest gear ang tip ko number one tip is use what you have don't over invest uh, tendency kasi ang tawag namin as photographers or video ang tawag namin gas gear acquisition syndrome okay. so tendency is bili ng bili ng gamit na hindi mo naman talaga gagamitin ganun na ako dati nung nag-start pero pwede ko na na-realize ko kaagad na pag hindi mo kailangan wag na bibili so yung bibilin mo lang yung kailangan mo actually you just need basically three lenses isang wide mm-hmm. isang uh, telephoto kung kailangan mo mag macro macro at this point in my career kasi kailangan ko lang bumili for reviews ganun mm-hmm. lang wala na akong kailangan talaga bilhin kasi nandiyan na lahat eh. okay nandiyan na lahat kumpleto na <laughs> parang parang okay. parang Buti pa si Paolo parang kumpleto, kumpleto na. pa na yata <laughs> Okay, um, I'd just like to add that if you go to his channel, you will see a lot of uh, unboxing videos. Yung mga bago niyang cameras or bago niyang like this one. Paolo, what is this? It's a <laughs> Osmo Pocket. Um, pang vlog. Pang, pang vlog. Pang, ano, it's very pocketable. <laughs> okay. Pocketable, that's why it's Osmo uh, sobrang Pocket. Sobrang daling gamitin. Yeah. Watch out for the review. And yes, watch out for the review. I'm going to link it down below, guys. <laughs> <Maybe. laughs> so my last question is, what's next, Pao? Um, nakita ka na nila na nagdudu ng furniture photography, wedding photography, hmm. even taking videos of your breakfast. Mm-hmm. Siguro ano, more of uh, like the vlogs. Yung mga business tips for, especially for creatives and photographers and videographers. Medyo doon tayo nahihirapan kasi talaga. Dahil, syempre, gusto natin nang nag-create. Uh, minsan nakakalimutan natin about money, about mm-hmm. ano, about the business, gano'n. So, uh, yun yung gusto kong gawin in the next few months. Okay. Well, I think magiging legit naman yung mga tips because if you guys don't know, he's actually a management graduate. Business economics. From UP ah, and... Business uh, economics pala, sorry. From UP and uh, AIM. <laughs> Okay, so also nagturo ka before, diba? Sa UP. Prof. Paolo. Okay, <laughs> tingnan natin more of the teacher Paolo thing kapag nagbigay na siya ng mga tips. So, yun lang. So, today we're shooting at Uncrew. It's actually a newly opened restaurant here in Clark and it's by Chef Vince Garcia. So, as you can see, yan, ang daming masasarap na food. You have to watch out for it also in my blog because I'm going to write about it as well. So yeah, let's say hi first to Chef Vince. Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Hi Chef please invite everyone to visit you here at Uncrew. Okay guys, good afternoon na ba? Yes, good afternoon. Please uh, come and visit us here at uh, Mercedes Benz Building. Uh, sa ilalim lang kami, ground floor. So, Uncrewed Cafe, it's, uh, we offer a lot of uh, selections from pasta to salad. Of course, to our best seller, Salmon and Crew. And of course, one of our my favorites, Apple Pie, topped with um, ice cream. Okay. And the coffee that we have is a 100% Arabica. It's winner. The breads are homemade, the cakes are homemade, and uh, siguro na mag-enjoy kayo. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. I just, I just wanna include that he's actually the man behind Velvet Ganache and Rainforest Kitchen. Yes. yes. This is now my third baby. But my fourth baby, my real baby is coming on this coming evening. <laughs> the real baby. The real baby. <laughs> but this one is my new venture inside the Quran. Guys, please watch out also for my vlog about Velvet Ganache. 
um, I'm gonna I'm gonna publish that real soon. And that's a wrap for my first episode of the Adulting Series. And hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Sir Paolo, thank you so much for doing this interview with me. You're welcome. Guys, napaka precious ng time niya, di ba? And please invite my viewers to subscribe to your channel. Yes, uh, please check out my channel at uh, youtube.com slash TV. Yes. And we're going to link it down below. Also, lahat ng social media niya so you guys can see sample books. Bye guys! Thank Bye. you!